All right, well, you've probably painted walls and maybe even pictures, but sometimes art can also be displayed on the floor. And Sandra Wicks from Ace Sarasota is here to teach us some painting techniques using floor cloth. All right, so Sandra, welcome back. Thank I'm excited you. about this opportunity to try to paint like you. But the last time you were here, you joined us to paint a portrait of Wrigley. And I want to go back and look at it because it's just an amazing picture. And, Thank you know, it, you know, painting a, a, a black dog is always difficult. Yeah. yeah. How did you do this? Well, you use a lot of the purples and the, and the blues to kind of get that shadow look and then bring them out that way well, so <laughs> well it definitely is beautiful well, thank you and so another thing cute. that you could do is with this um, floor cloth right yes yes this is what we're doing at ace right now if in one of my classes and also starting in the fall i'll have another class in november time frame but it is an old the history behind floor cloths goes way back to the 18th century in mm -hmm. england and it was brought back to uh, america and um when you know business was going much better we had a lot of artists that would s would start doing this for people and in their homes and it became just a very special piece in people's homes and it's and a little bit more adorable than regular it canvas it is they love that because you can wash it and it's not oh. the, you know oh, wow. so because it's a paint it's acrylic uh -huh. and these are some of the examples that i have uh, for my students to look at, um, you know, you have to. And this is what we're going to aspire to. Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm like we're going to do that. Uh, <laughs> all right, well, I'm a little worried here. Well, some of us have already started, and in fact, okay. because of Wrigley's celebration, we're going to paint something in honor of, the, of him. And this is yes. one. The picture that was just up is what you've painted already. Yes, yes. This is a, one of the it's samples so I've shown That's of amazing. Wrigley. And um, we, I can go through the step-by-step step with you today. So basically, we start with a primed canvas. Uh -huh. So what, what it is is just primed on both sides because you don't want to have it unprimed on the floor okay. oh. because then it will seep in any oh. liquids right. or dirt oh, or things oh, like I that. See. Yeah. And then on this, the side that we're actually going to paint on, it's primed two times, so which makes it even stronger so and I to work on. Show this. Yes. The seaming, or what do you call that? Yes, this is a hemming process that we do for oh. the floor cloths because you, when you use smaller versions like t uh, placemats, you don't need to hem them because they won't curl up. They're small enough, and the paint will weigh it down. But for the floor cloths, we go through a process of hemming everything, and I use double face tape, which is carpet tape, which you can buy anywhere, mm -hmm. um, and you know, big stores. Um, and then we put that on there and it's about two inches wide, as wide as the tape, so there's no cutting involved with that. Once that's completed, we turn it over. Paint it? And then we paint it. We oh. actually and this could be a floor mat in front of someone's door. Exactly, wow. anywhere. You can use this even for your dogs. And oh, yeah. to put their bowls on. Oh, you that know would be how adorable. they always yeah, fill yeah. things and oh, so yes. it's very handy to have a floor cloth. And it's under really that. that durable. It is. Oh That's yes. Amazing. Because if you get something on them, what do you do? Just wipe it off? Like just, or anything? Really? Yeah. Just wipe it off with a sponge and, and it's gone. Beca because at the end of the process we also seal it with um, you can use all different kinds of um, polyurethanes that speaking you buy in the store oh, and also good. put that well, on there. Speaking of the process, you gave us some paint and yes. we all started. And yes. I just want to show Linda's. We always talk I'm about me being an artist. <laughs> I'm but copying look at hers. Linda's. Linda's Wrigley. It she did this Oh from, my gosh, that's yeah. really good, Linda. Oh, oh, my God. Thank you. you I, was, I was trying to make that, but I'm a little small. For yeah. <laughs> so we can put some dog treats around him. Yes. And you can I was going to let him be nice the girlfriend. One. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Jeffrey's so, doing that. This is very interesting. I was, it's I'm, like, I'm, where did Wrigley go? Well, follow Exactly. We're following his little footsteps. Wrigley wants to say. Oh, he's right behind me right now. Yeah. there's. Wrigley wants to be a part. I was going to do some some footprints and very good are yes. there any specific techniques you have to use for well, this kind of cloth what I start off with uh, with the students is usually tape off so you can get a nice border and you just use your tape that from a painters tape yep. uh -huh. so you st put that around the edge and you say okay I want to have about that two inch border uh -huh. and then you go all the way around and then I cover it with a base color the the as you can see, it's the red color. Okay. Oh, that's and um, then you start putting all your parts on there. So I started with the dog, 
and then <laughs> you know dogs like ice cream and all the different cookies. treats and bones so, right and a brush and a brush and then i you i've also taught that you can um, use different tools to get different effects with like sponges you can get um little plastic Cream. tools right and that you can drag the paint and get a nice effect that way oh so so many good of, ideas yes a yes. lot of different techniques you yes. can do to definitely do your one-of-a-kind art right. and you guys can create your own floor cloth at um, ace they have several yes. other classes going on there and you can find out more about their fall class schedule by right. just going to their website yes ace-sarasota.com and when we come back we're actually going to take another look at our guide dog Wrigley's time here. Oh, oh it's dog. This is fun. Yeah. This is like art therapy. There you go. Yes. <laughs> All right, we'll be back.